What is up YouTube? For this first thoughts video, we're going to be taking a look at Mr. Sun's Hatbox. I got a key for this game through Lurkit, and this game just looked like it was the right amount of zany fun, and I couldn't resist requesting a key. The game was developed by Kenny Sun and published by Raw Fury. Right out the gate, the story and the dialogue in this game just had me instantly hooked. Just the absolute wackiness in the first scene has me wanting to come back for more immediately. If going from making a simple delivery for a customer, to taking over their basement, to setting up an espionage style operation to get his package back, and then going on a murder slash kidnapping spree doesn't get you hooked, I don't know what will. The gameplay seems simple at first, but the more you get into it, the more in depth it becomes. With the amount of hats and weapons to choose from, it already gives you a large amount of playstyle options. Add in the different traits each of the characters you can use has, some of which are good, some of which are bad. And with a nice dash of base and resource management, you get a game with a surprising amount of depth to it. Not to mention the different missions and maps that you'll have to deal with to try and find Mr. Sun's original package. The character traits play a really big role in choosing who you want to go out on a mission. I tend to avoid anyone that can't knock out enemies by jumping on their head, or ones that aren't strong enough to snap down to enemies' necks. Everything else is manageable, but can turn into chaos at a moment's notice. Okay, that didn't work the way I thought it would. That didn't work the way I thought it would. All the different hats you can use really make a difference in how you play and how you approach things. And they can even cause some hilarious moments. Okay, that was way too close. Oh! Okay. Oh god! <laughs> okay, I didn't realize I was gonna continue to activate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's the game. That's the rest of the stream. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay, that seemed unfair. Oh god. Okay, that got chaotic. <laughs> Why did that get so chaotic? <laughs> Not only are there a lot of weapons, but everything you can pick up can be a weapon you can toss at enemies to knock them out. Be careful because thrown items can ricochet and knock you out as well. I learned that out the hard way and I use the term learned lightly. Well, I wanted to more so get rid of the body and... Oh. Huh. Oh yeah. That... That didn't. I thought I was gonna be able to throw it through the floor. Ow! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. The game really starts opening up the more you upgrade your base. From a research center to give you more passive bonuses to a black market where you can buy just about anything you would need. Or take requests to get some extra rewards to the prison where you can brainwash captured enemies so they will work for you. I honestly can't tell you how much fun I had with this game and how often it made me laugh without making this video much, much longer than it needs to be. If you enjoy 2D platformers, you're going to enjoy this. This game is the right amount of that dumb slapsticky humor that you can't help but belly laugh at. And I couldn't recommend this game more. Well, this has been my first thoughts on Mr. Sun's Hatbox. Let me know what your first thoughts were if you've played Mr. Sun's Hatbox. Be sure to check down in the doobly-doo, I will have the link to the Steam page for this game there. If you made it this far, if you could drop a like and a sub, I would really appreciate it, it would really help me out. I did try this game out live on my Twitch channel, and if you ever want to see my live reaction to games, definitely check out the link down in the doobly-doo. Thanks for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one.